play for sunscreen this season, you're going to want to make an informed choice. So here with what you need to know is Bahar Niramwala, our beauty expert. <laughs> I know. You've got great skin, <laughs> and it's because you are constantly protecting it from the sun. Yes, and I thought this is a very important topic to talk about. Now that we are smack dab in the middle of summer, right? Yes. Now we're going to find out who's wearing it, who's doing it right, yeah. and maybe they're going to get a bit of information from what I talk about today to actually continue the rest of the summer doing it properly. I think so. Yeah. I think the first thing we need to learn, though, is what actually SPF is. Because we see it and we know we need it, but what is it? Okay, so SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor. Okay. And it's a, a rating system that will tell you the amount of time you can spend out in daylight or sunlight without getting burned. So to give an example, if I go out, uh, outside with unprotected bare skin, mm -hmm. and it takes five minutes for my skin to begin to turn red and burn, mm -hmm. that means if I pick up, let's say, an SPF 30, I will get 30 times 5 minutes of protection in daylight or sunlight, which is approximately like 150 minutes. 30 times 5. That's right. That's how, yeah, that's how that number kind of works. Okay. And 30 to 50 is about a good range. It covers about, I believe, 93 to 95% of, uh, of um, UVA, B, uh, UVA and UVB rays and that protection. Okay. But the higher you go, you're only getting maybe another percent or two maximum. So you don't have to buy like 110 SPF and think, oh. and think you're gonna get 550 minutes type of exposure. Yes. So, so that's how the rating system works. Okay. And then I thought that would be a good way to actually move into now who should actually be wearing it. Right. And Apps. I have a feeling I you know say the answer. It. Go for it. Everyone. Absolutely. Everyone, everyone needs to wear it. All my chocolate sisters out I was there say. who thought that we yeah. were off the hook. Absolutely. You have to wear it. You it doesn't matter to. your skin tone, complexion. It doesn't matter your uh, racial background. Age, gender. Age, gender. Enough. Yeah, especially because the guys are it. like, I don't need to wear it. Oh, no. Guys need to wear it as well. Mm -hmm. So just like you mentioned, doesn't matter how light or how rich your skin tone is. I know yeah. a lot of people who have that richer, deeper, darker skin tone. Yes, your body has created more melanin and that is what has coated you with a beautiful different rich color right yeah. so to a certain extent you will be protected from some of the sun's burning rays mm -hmm. but that's only to an extent only for a certain period of time and also that doesn't protect you from all the other damage that the uv rays do to your skin right and so that segues nicely into yes. what are uva and what, what are, are uvb UV rays so we'll start with uvb those okay. are the burning rays of the sun mm -hmm. and the best way to remember is uv burning yep they're shortwave rays Mm -hmm. So they will go to the epidermis, that's the top layer of your skin, and that's what causes the redness, the heat, that burning of your skin. Right. UVA rays are a little bit sneakier. These are the ones that cause aging damage, so you can remember that with UV aging okay. rays. Yeah. They go deeper, they're longer wave rays, they go deeper into your dermis, mm -hmm. so below the actual surface of the skin. Mm -hmm. They bust up your collagen, mm -hmm. your skin growth cell receptors, all sorts of stuff. So no matter how fancy or how fantastic your serums and skincare are, if your skin is damaged and can't absorb and use what you're putting on it, mm -hmm. completely, completely useless. You have to wear an SPF. Now, which ones are cancer causing? Both UVAs and UVBs? Uh, UVA rays, UVB rays, all of these are the ones that are going to cause damage and yeah. then in turn cause some sort of, let's say, melanoma or yeah. problems with, with your actual skin. Yeah. Um, but here's the deal. Cover yourself off with a broad spectrum so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. You're going to want to look for the words broad spectrum coverage or protection on your container. Okay. For the most part, most brands are really good about this but you have to double check. You have to turn it over and check. It says uh, broad spectrum protection. So that means it's doing both. Absolutely, it's covering you from B's? both A's, A's and B's, exactly. Okay. All right, well that's important because both of them sound bad to me. Uh, yeah, no, what, exactly. Why would you want one or the other? badly, like no, they're all, they're all terrible. Absolutely, so, so protect together. yourself. Um, so now we're gonna talk about the types of sunscreens that are yes. out there, because this is a pretty big conversation. So uh, first one is mineral sunscreens. Okay. They tend to be zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Mm -hmm. They work by blocking the sun's rays. Sometimes they're also known as physical sunscreens. So you know that okay. white cast that some of your sunscreens get? Mm -hmm. And for people who have darker skin tones, they're like, well, I'm just not gonna wear it because it's darker. Mm -hmm. There are options for you. But okay. that is a, f a physical block and it will uh, push the sun physically off your skin. Got it. Okay, and it's actually well tolerated with people who have sensitive skin.
Okay. The other one is called synthetic sunscreens. Some mm -hmm. people call them chemical sunscreens. You can call it whatever you want. It's just a different category. Mm -hmm. These work by absorbing the energy that the sun is uh, giving to your skin and then either converting that into heat mm -hmm. or it tries to scatter it away from your epidermis. So it tries to just break it away so it can't go as far down as it needs to to damage your skin. Okay. Okay? And uh, there's so many words for this. Mexoral, avobenzone, oxybenzone, homosalate, octanoxate, all wow. of these words. Yeah, there's so many of them. So you just got to... Doesn't she need a raise for saying that? <laughs> <laughs> Can someone give her it's some all, money? Like, that was incredible. <laughs> okay, so this is... So is there a better way to go? Like, should you go with the zinc? Should you go with the synthetic? Uh, should you try and do a combination of both? I think that's a great question. Just like hair care, foundation, all this other stuff, yeah. you need to test what works for you. Your skin is different than my skin is different yeah. than his skin, her skin. We have to do what's better for ourselves. So okay. you have to test it out. Um, also, I can talk about a few random, yeah, let's yeah talk a random, few random things we got here. That's where it gets really confusing. We go to the pharmacy and it's like, which one do Am I, I choose? Am I supposed to use? Absolutely. So I have a few different options for different type of personalities and different tastes. Okay. This is from Live Clean. They have 98% naturally derived ingredients in all of their sun care, which is very Lovely. cool. Uh, this guy I like that comes in a spray form because mm -hmm. if you've got kids, they refuse to stand still for the they SPF won't. moment, right? So this will spray. Yeah. And then you do a quick rub down, mm -hmm. send them off to play in the sun for <laughs> a couple hours. Right, exactly. Go enjoy yourself. So that's a great option. Do you need to do that like 20 minutes before they go out or anything like that? Great question. Or? Yes. Give 15 to 30 minutes before you go into the sun so yeah. that your sunscreen has a chance to absorb to do its job. Got it. Okay? Yep. Um, next we have from Aven. This is our makeup oriented option. This is their complexion correcting fluid. Mm -hmm. It's an SPF 50 and also mm. a medium coverage foundation. It has no parabens, no oil, and it is a mineral-based sunscreen. So it uses the zinc oxides and that titanium dioxide. And it has vitamin E in it, which is an antioxidant. So better for right. your skin. Really yeah. beautiful touches there. Two in one there. That's yes. great. Uh, certified organic option from Kula. Love this one because they have, are bringing the stick back. Do you remember? Yes. Lifeguards used to have that uh, zinc oxide down there. Yeah. So that is actually a tinted version. This is not that crazy white stripe anymore. It's actually a beautiful sheer oh, nice. uh, mineral sunscreen. And I want you to take smell a whiff of that. Oh, that smells good. Cocoa butter, coconut oil, don't avocado lick it, oil. But you might yeah, want you to. might. It's so sweet. That smells very good. And then also, don't forget your lips. This yes. is SPF 30 lip care. Your lips definitely need some protection in the right. sun. Absolutely. And, and then finally, we have chemical options or synthetic options and also hybrids. So there are brands like mm. Vichy who has come out with their Idel Soleil SPF 50. That's yeah. a hybrid that uses both mineral and uh, synthetic, I which like if you have a richer skin tone, you won't get that crazy white cast. You'll be more inclined to actually wear your SPF. Good. I mean, the best sunscreen is the sunscreen that you will actually apply. Absolutely. Right? Fahar, really good lesson there. Thank you for that. Okay.